41 is Charlie Daniels at 737 Ian 301. Nice to see you. Here we go then with heat two for Firecracker. Two sixty-seven. Uh, James Steele was hanging about, and behind him, oh, Ricky Kirk Corpiello has been smashed a bit, and one of the oh, big head on there. Oh my goodness! Well, they're not taking no prisoners down here, and the Reds are out. The Reds are out. What a start to heat two. And there's the green and here we go again. And straight away 737 is in the spin. And uh, it could get worse for 198 and it does. 623 comes through. And some big hits going in there on turns one and two. And here comes your race leader. Meanwhile on the back straight, there's three of them together on the back straight now. You don't want to be on the front of that. And oh, look at the hearse fold up at the back there. But it's, he's done very well there, you know. That is clever driving by um, 383. Jeff Smith in the Daimler Hearst did well there to avoid getting absolutely annihilated. So Tricky Ricky leads in 6.23. Oh, and the red flags are out. Oh, and uh, 2.67 has just gone flat out into the Armco. There's the green flag and here we go again as Crazy Wes gets some attention from the Dean Sanasaur over there on turn four. On the back straight, Tricky Ricky leads in 6.23. 4.15, Cornish in second place, 27. Hughes comes up into third. We've got two world champions right there. And on the back straight, the hearse has been running again. And... Uh, <laughs> John Henry Jr. having a pop at Jeff Smith. And for the second time, Jeff Smith's hearse goes flying into the Armco backwards. And this time, I think it could be in trouble. He could be in real trouble now. Oh! And 100 crazy Wes. It's hearse on hearse, so it's fair. Oh, my goodness me. And Tom Waller's going mental as well. I thought he was a rudder. Meanwhile, the race goes on, and it's uh, and it's 6:23 from 27, 4:15 and 1:14, and now we have one on opposite, and it's head-on time on turn four. Well, they're having fun. We're all having fun. 599, well built, been involved in some big crashes, done some big hits, and still cruising. Meanwhile, Tricky Ricky leads in 63. 27 down here, second. Oh, and another head on! Six twenty-three. the race leader, here he comes now, as Crazy Wes turns it round for, is he going to park up? and save it for the Conci. We're halfway, Martin. Halfway now, he's turning it round, bless him. We're halfway and there's five laps to go now for Tricky Ricky in 6.23. Here he comes now, the race leader. Watch out because here's Crazy Wes. And uh, by the way, did we tell you, he's crazy. He is crazy. This is going to hurt someone. <laughs> Scott Cornish took avoiding action there. And Crazy Wes going round the pin bend. Who's he after now? Anybody bloody get? And he's missed the ball. Oh. So it's Ricky Ricky in the lead in 6.23. Oh, 
by uh, 27, Dale Hughes in second place. And then in third position, it's 415 Scott Cornish. And we've got three laps to go now. Three laps now for 6.23. Oh, crazy, where's his back? And Lakey's got him! And Lakey hits him. Oh, my goodness! And crazy, where's your crazy, man? 6.23, the race leader. Oh, and 3.88, Santa piles into Crazy Wes. He's loving it. 27 second, 4.15, third. And uh, here comes 1.14, Lakey's doing a bit of racing now. And 6.23, Tricky Ricky with one lap to go. Well, he had a win yesterday, I'm hearing, and he's going to have another one today, but normally this guy won that, turn it around, head on. But no, he's out to just see what it's like on his last visit to Arena Essex. What's it like to actually do 12 laps next to each other? And he's done it. 6-2-3, Ricky Hutton wins the Joan and Alex Williamson firecracker qualifier. And uh, coming through for second place, it's number 27, Dale Hughes, ahead of Scott Cornish in 4-1-5. Our brilliant lap scorers will now pick up the other runners. And, uh, oh, and we've got them. So it's a red flag now, please, Martin. Full result in just a moment. Congratulations. 